So if I bring it of you, Shvat, Tov, Shin, Chof, was an unusual occurrence. They devoted an entire Sikha to a story that the Friedrich Rebbe told him in Yechidus, the Rebbe's Yechidus. A story about himself, the Friedrich Rebbe, the Rebbe relates to our Rebbe. And here is what the Rebbe said at the Fabrengi there. The Rebbe says, we've spoken that the stories of the Rebbeim, since they, they, they themselves related them, the ones that they related, is definitely a hero. And especially a story that's connected to Askolis Siburis um, community work. And it is itself, there are many supporting stories that were told publicly and stories that were only related in Yechidus. And then there are stories that they didn't relate at all. So here is a story that the Bali Lula, the Yudshvat, the Fidik Rebbe, related. And as much as I know, says the Rebbe, it was only said in Yechidus to him, which he's now going to share. This story is connected with the Avoid of the Fidik Rebbe in Askonis Tsiburus during and under, uh, before communism, under the Tsar, under the Tsar, the Russian Tsar. And this is the story. At that time, for many years, the head of the, of, of the government was a, was a, uh, a, a terrible uh, Jew hater. His name was Talipin, who excelled in his hatred of Eden and terrible degrees that he leveled against them. Everybody knew that any opportunity he would find a way to torment uh, Jews. However, there was someone uh, above Stalipin who he learned from. He, he was his teacher and he very much looked up to him and considered his opinion and was very influenced by him. And he was a general and his name was, I can pronounce this if I'm close to correctly, Rabia Dan Nas Chef. Rabia Dan Nas Chef. Now, he also was very far that it was just being a lover of Eden, but nonetheless, he was a very, very uh, devout uh, Christian. I didn't say that, but devout in their faith. And he respected people of faith, even our Bonim Abdul. So it was known by all the Askonim. When everything failed and you couldn't affect Stalipin to nullify one of his, his, his plans, so you should try and have a spot on him through this Pabie Dan Naschev that Stalipin uh, respected. So at that time, Stalipin was planning a new Xavier, and the matter came known to the Rebbe Rashab, Rebbe's father. Through how he says it through the Rebbe Rashab's Yidden that he had in Petersburg, you know, people that were not spies but there to uh, to find out what's happening in the halls of power. So they're looking for a solution how to to negate this uh, this in, the impending uh, impending evil. So in the Askonim in Petersburg, let know that the Rebbe Rashab they tried everything. There was that they could do. Mashpi and Stalipin and those around him, and it's all for naught. Because he's absolutely, uh, uh, Sean is uh, determined stubbornly to, to level this new decree. So therefore they're saying, as we've seen in other, other times, there's no Eitzah. So that's why the, the Rebbe Rashab told, if you get everybody has to do the, get involved. Now, since in order to find a solution, you have to go to that place. So the Fidik Rebbe went to Petersburg to speak to the Askonim and the decision was made to, to reach his mentor. Prabhya Dechenev. After a lot of effort, so this uh, general agreed to receive the Fidik Rebbe to, to see him because of his, again, tremendous uh, 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 respect 
for people of, of faith that have been, and especially a leader. And their bads over here will tell the story tomorrow. But even though for certain reasons the Fidi Gerebe was registered in his in his ability to have legal papers, he was registered as a soicher, as a businessman. But when he came to Peterburg, at that time he came as officially as, as a Rav, as a Rabin. And here the a fascinating story of the Rebbe, which we should tell tomorrow, Mr. Shem, of the Fidi Gerebe and the Rebbe Rashab. When the Rebbe Rashab, the Fidi Gerebe is traveling as a businessman, you'll find out why also he had these papers as a businessman, especially when he, tra when he traveled for purposes and with his father. That story with Tashem will tell tomorrow. So tomorrow this year is 8.30, guys, after that. Have a wonderful day.